Hey guys, welcome to part four of the Learning D3 series. In this video, we're going to talk about SVG or scalable vector graphics. And SVG is heavily used in the D3 library because it allows us to create really complex shapes and just do a lot more visually than we could with HTML and CSS. All right. So we're going to uh, what I'm going to do is just show you the uh, SVG at its core, just using the SVG tags right in the HTML, uh, and then we'll move on to drawing shapes using D3 and SVG together. All right, so what we're going to do here is just create an SVG tag, and this is like the canvas you could think of it as. Uh, we're going to give it a width of 400, and let's give it a height of 400, and we can also add a style attribute and let's just highlight the background so I'm going to say background and we'll make it light gray add the closing tag Oops. and now if we reload now you can see where our SVG canvas is okay so we can go ahead and draw different shapes on this canvas um, let's do a rectangle just because I think that's the easiest thing to do so we can use the rect tag and we'll set a width let's set that to 300 and we'll set a height to 300 and style let's give it uh, let's see we can say fill and let's say RGB you don't have to use RGB values here but I'm gonna I'm just gonna make it red Right, and we also want uh, stroke, and for that, let's do RGB, and we'll set that to black, and then we need to define a stroke width, and the stroke is just the border. So for that, uh, let's say three pixels, and I'm sorry, just three. And that should do it. So let's close that up. Now, if we reload, um, what did I do? Fill. Oops, I'm sorry. We don't need these quotes. Force a habit. Okay, so now we have a square that's 300 high by 300 wide. It has a stroke of three pixels. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and change that to one. Okay, so now we have a stroke of one pixel and it starts right here okay now if we want to move this over we can do that pretty easily we could set an x value and let's set that to 100 and you'll see that it pushed it over 100 pixels let's actually set it to 50 that way it's right in between all right so the x value is horizontal and if we want to move it down we'll give it a y value and we'll say 50 for that as well. And now you can see it's in the middle of the SVG element or the SVG canvas. All right, so that's a rectangle. If we want to do a circle, we can do that as well. Let's just add another SVG. Actually, I'm just going to copy this. And let's just get rid of the rectangle tag. And we're going to do a circle and we'll set uh, let's see we're gonna set CX to 50 and CY uh, we're gonna set that to 50 as well and then we need to give it a radius we'll give it a radius of 40 let's set the stroke to black so you can see we can set the stroke like this or we can do it in the style like we did here. All right, and then we can set stroke width. Let's set that to one. And we can set our fill. And we can set that to, let's say, yellow. All right, so I think a lot of people find this way easier, you know, putting just the attributes rather than putting it all in a style tag. So let's save that and reload. So there we have our yellow circle. 
and the CX and CY is the X and Y axis. So if we want to go more than 50, let's say 250 and 250, then that's going to move that down. All right, so I don't want to get too much into just uh, just SVG. Uh, I want to show you how to do it with D3. So that's all we're going to do for now with that. So let's go ahead and just comment that out. All right, and all we want in our HTML is uh, our element. So let's say div ID equals, uh, let's just call it element. All right, and then we're going to add our script tags. Okay, and what we're gonna do is select the body. So we're gonna say D3 select and we want the body and then we're going to what we're going to do is append uh, an SVG element so we're going to say append SVG and I'm just going to save this just to clear this out all right and then what we're going to do is for this SVG we're going to set some attributes so we can use the adder and let's set a width and we'll set that to 400 and let's set the height Oops. 400 and a style so we'll set the background and we'll set it to light gray just like we did before and now if we reload we get that same SVG canvas that we had before, only we're using D3. All right, so let's go ahead and append a rectangle. Now I'm gonna try to kind of mimic what we did up here. We set the width and height to 300. So let's do that. So we'll set width. 300 and we'll set the height to 300 all right and then we want the X and Y values so X was 50 and Y was also 50 and we can fill it to do that we're gonna do dot style and we'll set fill to red all right and then we can also set the stroke so I'm just going to copy that and change that to stroke set it to black and we also want the stroke width Let's set that to one and we'll go ahead and save that and there we go we have the same exact thing that we did here except we're using d3 and now we could go ahead and do this over and put something next to it but we can also stay on this SVG element if we want so what we're going to do here is let's do uh, d3 dot select and we want to select the SVG and let's do dot append and we're going to append a circle and we'll say dot adder and we'll do CX set that to 100 This one will be CY. We'll set that to 100 as well. And then we need our radius. We'll say 50. And let's give it a fill. We'll fill it with blue. And there's our circle. Okay, if we want to move it a little bit, let's change that to 200. And now 
we go. All right, so I think that's a good place to stop. I just wanted to kind of introduce you to drawing simple shapes with SVG. Um, we're not going to need to know much more than that to be able to build what we're going to build. All right, so in the next video, we're going to go ahead and build a bar chart using SVG.